the ever famous Bakelite mag. A Russian icon that goes along with the AK-47, but for some reason, extremely expensive now in today's American market. These back in the day used to be had for five, ten dollars. But then we had assault weapons bans and Russian and Chinese import bans over the years and Bakelite magazines have become very, well, expensive. A rugged magazine, 30 rounds, made by either Tula or Ismash, even though I am saying that completely wrong. A very durable and tough resin mag. The question is, is it worth paying up to 100 to $150 for these magazines in 2022? Prices are only going up, but the iconic look of the Russian Bakelite magazine, you can't beat it. I mean, sure. Metal magazines, this is a Romanian on a Romanian gun. Looks great, looks like it's a battlefield pickup. But if you just throw that Bakelite in there, it's just, it's just, it just looks fantastic. So the question is, how can we stop paying $100 for these Bakelite magazines, but still have that look? Which ones are real, which ones are fake? These are the real ones. And these right here were done by myself. So how did we get from this fake light to the fake light? So today I wanna to show you guys how to do a fake light tutorial. So first try, pretty good. This is a Bulgarian magazine that you can buy off a gun mag warehouse. It's a polymer, but it's a good mag. It's like 12 to $13. So again, you know, 100 bucks. 13 bucks and a couple of materials, you can get that really cool look. Then we went for a second try because I wasn't too cool with the darker color. We, again, used the Bulgarian mag and we got similar results to our Izzy and Tula. So inexpensive, it could definitely be done. And I'm gonna show you guys how. So of course we have our Bulgarian polymer mag from Gun Mag Warehouse. And we're gonna top coat it with Rust-Oleum's Warm Caramel. So this is a satin warm caramel. Look for the 2X Ultra Cover Paint Plus Primer, and that's gonna be our top coat on both sides. Actually, what you wanna do first, and this is a very important, you wanna degrease this magazine. You wanna take some simple green or some alcohol, and you wanna get that grease off of there. So what we're gonna do after we hit this with the one coat on each side and make sure it is completely dry, we're gonna go with a wood finish top. So. You're not gonna slather this on there. What you're gonna do is take these two. This is crimson. Now remember, Minwax Crimson. This is a clear tint base where Home Depot adds in their own color or the Minwax color. You can't get it anything less than 29 fluid ounces, so you can make a bunch of bake lights if you have to. This is an oil-based stain. This is a water-based stain. Oil and water do not mix. However, in the case of making these fake light magazines, you're gonna be using more of the water transparent wood finish than the oil-based wood finish. I went with these two brushes right here. This is about a half an inch. This is about a quarter inch brush. They have a little bit of flex to them, but the way that we're gonna paint them on you're going to be able to get that finish where it looks like wood and has the grain going through. And of course you wanna have one of these on hand to kind of copy and see what type of grain you're, you can actually put into yours. So again, we have the paint, we have the stain, we have the brushes. So we're not gonna do it down here, but let's get into my quote, wood shop. And let me show you guys how we do this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the follower and the spring out. So we're just gonna, of course, be careful when this comes out because that can happen. So we have the spring and the follower and the plate. You will not be touching these for any reason unless you're putting it back together or taking it apart. So you have a nice empty magazine. Next, we're gonna take this simple green, and I know you're supposed to mix it. So 
We're just gonna take a little bit of hot water. I'm gonna wipe it down. And we're gonna just take a little bit of one side each. All right, so we're gonna dry this off and on to the next step. Okay, we're out in the garage. So what I like to do before I start painting, because we're gonna have to hang it, this is your typical 550 power cord. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it through so we can actually handle it. Look at that Boy Scout knot, holy moly. Okay, so this is for when we're going to hang after we paint it with light coats. Okay, so we're in a well-ventilated area. We're in the garage. I have the garage door open. You should wear a mask for this. Uh, don't do what I'm doing. But we have Rust-Oleum Warm Caramel in Satin. What we're going to do is give this a really good shake. And while you're shaking this for about 30 seconds or so, you want to make sure you bring it to room temperature. Uh, when it sits in a garage, it gets cold and it gets tacky. So we're going to shake this up. Like I said before, we have our power cord on there on the magazine so I can hang it. And what we're going to do, we're going to just do light coats. Again, we degreased it. Brand new can too. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna go light. We're not looking to cake it on right now because it will get tacky. Lighter coats means quicker drying times. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hang it for now. Hang it over on the side. And we'll be back to do more. All right, so we let it dry. This is three coats. Made sure that we covered each spot. So that is dry to the touch. I can handle this right now. Now for this, you gotta let it dry a little longer. There's your base color. So we're gonna take, we're not gonna drown the brush. We're gonna actually get a little bit on there. Let's get a little more. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to, we want to get that excess off. Then we're going to take the brush and we're going to just get that first initial dry layer on there. We just want to get it on there. We're going to cover the whole thing. Nice strokes. Don't forget in here. And that initial coat, we are going to just... We're just gonna let that dry. You can actually speed up the process. I still wouldn't touch it right away. You can take your heat gun and just give that a quick one soak. So what we're gonna do is get a little more of the crimson on there. Again, brush. Get that excess off, and we're just going to get it on there. We're going to paint. We want that initial coat to just stay on there and not be so tacky, so we're going light before we start going on heavier. Once again, we're going to hit it. We're actually going to let that sit for a while, and we're going to clean out our brush. So unfortunately the camera keeps overheating, so we're going to try this one more time. Um, we're hitting it with our last coat of the brown or red oak overcoat. And this is the one where we're going to just make our last pattern. Because you can, you can get real silly with this, where you're just going to keep going over and over and hitting it and hitting it and going back and forth. So we're just going to hit it with our last one here. Again, 
no right or wrong way. You just do it. And comparing it to our, looks more or less in the ballpark. Okay, we're gonna let it dry now. That's it, no more. Done. Here's side one, still needs to dry. And here's our Izzy, very similar. And uh, I'm not gonna put you guys through the pain of the second one, but uh, I'll show you when we're done. All right, so it is wet. Both sides are done. And what we will do next is throw on a protective finish. So this, again, you don't want to overdo it. We are going to just take a very light coat and just brush it on. Uh, optional after this, if you want, you can put a matte spray which I might actually do. But yeah, there you go. We're going to let this guy dry. This one we're not... We're going to let this actually air dry. Uh, this you do not want to hit with the heat gun. I'll show you the final comparison after it dries and we put the spring and the follower back in. All right, guys. It's finished. And here you go. This is the comparison from Real Bake Light and the Fake Light that we created. First one's a Tula. Second one is one we made. Third one is the one we made for this video. Fourth one is an Izzy. And the fifth one is one that I'm actually currently working on. So we turned this into this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, questions, comments. And I hope you guys have a very happy new year.